Okay. There we go. We're back. Only like the pretty bit of bit of a trend. Only like months months late for stuff that comes out. It wasn't months. It was like a couple weeks or something. Maybe a couple days. I don't know. DLC for this. Go play. Gotta put in that seasonal work. It's like we gotta do this shift to get to be able to go to the holiday party or something. I don't remember. But yeah. I'm assuming there's gonna be new cryptids to learn. Stuff to do. It's gonna be fun. I'm assuming it's this. A different screen. I wish I knew that. User Rebecca. Oh, this is all new. Mail. Welcome back. All of us here at HSH are ever grateful for your annual service during one of our busiest and most vital work weeks. While we only get to experience your talents for one week every year, we just want you to know you are highly valued here and an important member of the HSH family. Best of luck this year, Rebecca. We're all counting on you. Rebecca, dog! I heard you were back in the office today. You aren't going to forget about coming to say hi to your best pal, Rodney, from IT, are you? I know you wouldn't date for... I wouldn't... I, I know you wouldn't dare forget. Remember, I got serious dirt on you, dog. Some of us actually remember last year's Christmas party. Anyway, glad to have you back. See you around. Ugh, what did I do last year? Phenomena. Phenomena first sighted in Nanavut at approximately 0400 hours. Estimated proximity is around 300,000 miles. Current risk profile low to moderate. Huh? December 22nd, 96. Is that the Northern Lights? Are they worried about the Northern Lights? Huh? I guess that's all. Time to do my work. Three days until Christmas. Cheer levels? What is that? Hold on. Critical cheer immunity. Hmm? Yeah, I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not a coward. I'm not a liberal. I don't need any phobia triggers. Oh god. Oh god. Hey Hi, Carol. Carol. It is good to have you back in our employ, Rebecca. Thou art a lifesaver every season, and thy yearly return is appreciated as always. I, of course, have no need to tell you how things work here, but I will remind you that we are hosting our annual office Christmas party again the day after Christmas. It would please me to see you there. We're all counting on you, Rebecca. Yeah. Oh god, am I gonna have stuff from the normal too? Oh god. The Twilight Time Wisps, Sugar Wisps, Sinking Foundation, Red Nose. Oh god. Can you send over an electrician? Our lights keep flickering off, and we're trying to get our Christmas tree ready for when our folks arrive. Please hold. That's not much information. <laughs> it's a partridge in a pear tree. I don't know the rest. 12 Days of Christmas song. That's funny. Nice. False carolers. Flocks of feathered humanoid creatures draped in many layers of clothing. Oh my god. 
Oh god. He said his lights keep flickering. That's not a lot of information. Cloche? Large circular stone formations? Huh. Alright, what do the dwarves do? That's not a dwarf I know. Small rock-like creatures known for creating and living in underground burrows. Sometimes extending territory into human homes. Increased heat, clattering or banging. Okay, not anything about electricity. Elves. Are they all elves? What's the elf in this picture? Humanoid creatures with pointed ears. Is that her? Does she have pointed ears? Pointed ears that often inhabit large scale human social gatherings under the guise of being forgotten friends, family, or acquaintances. Known to lower the immune response of humans they come into direct contact with. Damn! Forgotten bogger. I'm assuming this isn't going to have anything to do with. Okay, the boggarts are still electric outages. Do they find new homes? Boggart are untethered from memory. They are known to dwell in uninhabited outdoor locations such as forests or, fountain or mountains until they find new homes with those that are capable of witnessing and discussing them. Again, he's, he didn't give me any information. So is it going to be something... Going to be something, like, big? Or is this just going to be, like, a quick and easy first one? Mountain Warlock. Pine Sprites. Is it a Pine Sprite? It's a Christmas tree. They have been known to sometimes cause fires or electrical shortages when electrical devices such as lights are introduced into their homes. I'm not even going to do any more looking. I'm going to say it's that. Uh, yeah. Of course. He gave me no information, so if it's wrong, it's his fault. It's not my fault at all. Red nose. Ooh. It's a growth. Primary symptom of a red berry-like growth emerging from the mammalian proboscis. Gross. Sinking foundation. Please hold. Okay. There's like some squeaking in the background there. The twilight. The twilight is an annual recurring phenomenon known for its diet of fear and suffering. What? What? More wisps? What are sugar wisps? An invisible subspecies of wisps known for its sweet plum-like aroma. I saw it scurry into the show. She saw. She 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 saw it. So it's not invisible. Snow golem's huge. Okay, I'm assuming a snow golem wouldn't be able to scurry into a cupboard. My name is Lana. Oh, I'd say it was some kind of mouse. It just. Oh, it's huge! I saw it scurry into the cupboard. Ah, it's you hear like that squeak, squeak right oh, there. But she said it's huge. So maybe it's something else. I doubt it's one of these. These are 
Well, huge. Probably isn't a dwarf. She probably would have yelled it's a rock or something. You got an avalanche in your house, woman? Probably not. Antler growths are a family of fungi for growing in tall antler-like arrangements. Seen on decomposing bodies. Sufficiently large growths can often induce motor movements in their hosts. Oh cool, zombies. Hmm. Do I just go normal again? I'm hoping these this first day is gonna be easy. And that it's just a mouse. I don't think it's a raccoon. Yeah, and that squeak right there makes me also want to say it's a mouse. I want to say mouse. Ah, oh, it's not a mouse. Ma'am, I think you got a mountain warlock in your cupboard. I hope it's not wrong. Why'd the music stop? Oh, because they're not on hold. I like the music. It was nice. Why can't I have the music normally? Got some snow golems in your house? Large humanoid mounds of snow that are capable of moving on their own. Homeowners experiencing snow golem infestations report wet floors, power outages, recently faulty or broken heaters, or strange snow formations outside the home. Wet floors. Snow golems can provide hazardous, can prove hazardous to humans in a variety of ways. Their tendency to target home heaters, especially during hazardous freezing weather, can cause medical issues. What floors? Well, she said forts. Like it doesn't look like snow. Oh, or strange snow formations. But she called them some pig tall mounds. Not snow. Large circular stone formations. How they have this as the ground and center of the formation will gradually sink lower until the deep pit. Okay, this says nothing about... Homeowners wishing to prevent damage to their home are advised to seek the aid of the ones conducting the cloche, bringing either an offering of gold or their firstborn child. Oh? Well, would you sacrifice your child to the cloche? Clock? Cloak? I'm gonna keep calling it cloche. I don't know. I mean, I don't see what else it could be other than snow golems. Oh, yeah. Snow golem. Oh, 100% accuracy. Nothing wrong. I'm just good at what I do. They don't call me Rebecca for nothing. Probably because I, I don't know what my last name is, so... 
Maybe my last name is for nothing. Get a chat. What I did there was a joke. But it wasn't a good one. The wild man is real. <laughs> I've seen him. I've seen him. I know you people know about things like this. I know what you really do. I have photos. We can get these out in front of the public. The people need to know. Please, help me get this out to the world before it's too late. I know he's been tracking me. What? Please hold. The wild man. See, have a, a bogger. All knowing such features of the bogger that are untethered from memory. Blah blah blah. Not bogs are those are harmless to those unaware or indifferent to their existence, but are at risk of inhabiting the homes of those with an interest in discovering them and discussing them. Thereby increasing the risk of hazard 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 hazardous activity, such as flooding, fires, or electric outages. It says something about tracking him, though. Probably not a cobalt. Is it a mountain warlock, actually? Highly territorial and pose a direct mortal danger to any humans or animals. No, probably not that. Definitely not a red nose. I'm with so to speak to use their and temporarily displace objects and persons in time. Probably not this. Unless he's been displaced. No. Yeah, I don't think he's suffering from a gratitude for life or a desire to better himself. For that, the same poster and miles of him. Nope. What's the twilight do? Severe existential threat to all living things so long as it finds sufficient feeding material. Should it find sufficient satiation in these cravings during its time spent in our cosmic proximity, it will proceed to consume all things that dwell above and below the soil. Huh? The twilight should be kept from its desires at all costs until it moves past. To prevent its feeding, all manner of fear, agony, and suffering should be avoided or mitigated when at all possible on the calendar days of its proximity. Huh. Is that what the cheer levels is? If I get too low cheer levels, is the twilight going to eat us all? Okay. Presidents. Does this guy have a forgotten bogger? I don't... I don't know what else it could be. Wild man is real. I've seen him. I've seen him. Is it a false caroler? All monitors are afflicted by false carolers. Often, for signs of seeing missing neighbors or large feathers. He doesn't say anything about people going missing or anything.
Is he at, is it, he's got a Dorsha after him? Dorcha? Dorch? Dorsh? Dork? Dorka? There's... Dorka calmly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed and pursued. I know he's been tracking me. The wild man. Start yapping, buddy. The wild man is real. <laughs> I've seen him. I've seen him. I know you people know about things like this. I know what you really do. I have photos. We can get these out in front of the public. The people need to know. Please, help me get this out to the world before it's too late. I know he's been tracking me. Hmm, I don't know. It's either a forgotten boggart or it's a Dorsha. Dorka. Dorch. Dorkach. Dorchorch. He's talking about getting the word out. He wants us to get the word out. Which you're never supposed to do for a forgotten bogger. So in the interest of safety, I'm gonna tell him he's got one of those. Because if it's a Dorska, he's dead no matter what. There's nothing to do to save him. But if it's a bogger, I could probably save him. Please help. Can't move. Is this the first guy that called? Need more. No, okay. What? Please help, can't move, too weak, need more, need more. Please hold. Ooh. I think you know if I'm like around my homers or producers, often important an intense craving for sweets, dreams of dancing orbs and malnourishment. Influence on the victim's preferred diet, sustained exposure to sugar whisk can lead to severe medical problems. Ranging from tooth decay and diabetes to starvation. Is he is he sugared? Is he all sugared up? Uh, not a clock. Cloak. Closh. Closh. You got an avalanche in your house, buddy? Are you dangerous? No, definitely not. Um. You've been antlered? What do they do, Sir Joseph? I don't think an antler growth would be able to make him talk.
I think I'm gonna go with sh Sugar Wisp. Unless he's getting sucked down sloppy style by the Twilight right now. I mean, it sounds like he says he's too weak. So... He might be malnourished? I'm going with Sugar Wisp. I don't, I don't know what else it could be. I mean, I am 100% for sure that it's a Sugar Wisp. It could be nothing else, and if it is, then the game is lying. I'm never wrong, chat. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, there's strange noises Holy coming from our basement. I don't know what's down there, but I can hear it scurrying around and making little scratching noises at night. I don't dare go down myself, but Probably my good wife idea. said she found little round pellets or something down there okay they're making it sound like a mouse or something so many rocks Finding rubber holes. We're scurrying around and making little scratching noises at night. It's in the basement. Definitely not a clash. I'm gonna say that different every single time. Oh, I just realized some some of the other ones were missing. Like the cellar grotto and the cellar slime or cellar slug or whatever. Some of those are missing. It's a different list. Trolls are outside goobers. Um... A raccoon? Raccoon said that they like the attic or trash. Garbage cans and attics. Which one the after last shot? Blah blah blah. Don't think it's a cobalt. I don't think bats would be in a basement. Sounds of scratching or flapping at night. She found pellets.
I don't want to say mice again because I said mice for the other one. I mean, he didn't say anything about... I mean, he said they... Don't want to go down. At least the guy didn't want to go down because he's a little bitch. But the wife said she only found pellets. Which could be bats. And it is winter. They want to hibernate before winter. But it's the 22nd, so why would they... I'm going to say bats. Because I'm correct. I am correct. I will be correct. I was correct on that mice, apparently. You know, that was just meant to happen at the end of the day. That wasn't, you know, that accuracy, that was a, that was a bug number. Um, I, I got it correct. Like, that's, that's, nothing happened there. Dude, did you see this yet? Everyone keeps forwarding this to me. I can't tell if they're taking it seriously or not. But either way, it's hilarious. Thought you'd get the kick out, get a kick out of it. I was one of these forward to... Pay it for, send for, I don't remember what they're called. If you don't forward this to five other people by tonight, you will drown in the next lake you visit. Buddy, I don't leave my house. I ain't gonna drown in nothing. Daily Twilight Report. Phenomena sighted in Manitoba at approximately 1,200 hours. Estimated, estimated proximity is around 100,000 miles. Profile risk moderate. Uh-oh. Surely that's not because my cheer went down for the false wrong report that it did. Ooh, how fucked up are the calls going to be on Christmas? Because the party's the day after Christmas. So I gotta... Probably gonna be working Christmas Day. All right, do I got anything new? No. Oh, wait, I have to wait until she calls to get the new stuff, right? If there's anything new. Carol. Carol. Hello? Well, easy on. Um... Greetings, Rebecca. It is Carol again. There have been reports of some new activity, so we have gone ahead and made some new information available to thee. I pray things are going well thus far. Thou knowest as well as I what is at stake. I yeah. do hope to see thee soon, Rebecca. Sure. Updated. Woo! Frost Wisp. Since we said the bubbles, the, 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 the bubbles, and you blow outside and they freeze. Shut up. I'm trying to read. I need someone to come fix our windows. I fear there's a terrible draft coming in, and I wouldn't want anyone at my second family gathering to catch a cold. I'm hosting at least 20 additional family members, Damn. and I need this place locked tight for their sakes. I've already caught something dreadful during our last hosted function, and I don't intend for it to happen again. Please hold. You got elves. Or immune response. It doesn't say anything about cold, unless the cold is a misdirection. I mean, she's. It seems like a very big hint that she's got 20 people coming over, and that I caught something last time. Unless that could also be a misdirection. 
I don't know. What's the frost wisp? Homeowners suffering frost often report shivering sensations or chill in the air and otherwise warm places and suddenly lingering thoughts of their own mortality. What? Pawns? That thing's ugly. Human shaped husk of cloth, rags, and straw known for sneaking into the homes of and domains of the affluent, wealthy, and unfortunate. Throwing self sense to the appearance of strange markings, blah blah blah. Okay, it's probably not a Hans. Lussy. Semi solid humanoid creature. Slipping in homes during hailstorms. Slimy, semi-transparent, opening. Lusty can be quite hazardous to any humans or pests that cross its path, as Lusty is known to steal the warmth of warm-blooded animals, often leaving their crumbled, frozen remains. The mayor. That's cursed. Jesus. Skeletal horse like humanoid draped in a variety of tinsel and fabrics. It is known for its distinct song like screeching and its tendency to approach entrances after a horror dark. The mayor poses little to no danger of humans or animals, or has been known to consume large amounts of homes. Is this based on that one thing from like Europe where it's like the Christmas horse comes to your house and you have to like rap battle it or like banter with it and if you fail it comes in and eats all it gets to eat and all the food it wants or whatever is it that thing it has been known to consume large amounts of a home's food and beverages if, in, if invited inside I don't know oh gross Blech. what the hand do and typically act at high elevations during the winter. Homeowners typically do not experience in August directly, but rather report other occurrences of its presence, consequences of its presence, such as Yulemen or Yule Cats. Huh. Well, what are the Yule Cats? Winter fur. Highly contagious seasonal virus. Known to cause the rapid growth of white hair like follicles across an infected individual's face. Huh. So. It's a sickness that'll give you a sick beard? Subsequent blindness caused by winter fur. Oh, hey, it blinds you. Never mind. That's not cool. <laughs> Yule cat. Large feline like creatures known for prowling populated high elevation areas. They feed primarily on various textiles and fabrics. Uh, sounds of hissing, growling, and law parge print, paw, parge paw, paw prints in the snow. Missing clothes or neighbors. It's always the neighbors that go missing. Light of fabrics can prove high hazardous to clothed homeowners if caught in their path. It'll just slurp you up out of your clothes. Due to their size and speed, most adult humans will not survive. I mean, that thing is huge. That's like... Is that like a guardrail for, like, cars or something? Or is that just a railing on a bridge or something? That thing's that thing's huge. You will goat. Goat-shaped apparitions that can sometimes occur in a home during the winter. Homeowners experiencing Yule goats often report strange coincidences, sighting of shapes of goats throughout the house, and imagined sounds of bleeding. Alright. Subspecies of gnome that appear small, hairy humanoids with pointed craniums that are most often seen traveling in packs of 13 or more. Broken windows, stolen food, sounds of clattering or giggling, and most rarely missing pets or children. Harmless to human adults, but can have be a safety hazard for household pets that are small enough to eat human children who have attracted the attention of an ogress. 
I want to say that the fixing their windows is a misdirection. And that she has an elf. Because I think it's important that she said they got sick the last family outing. And honestly, I feel there's a terrible draft coming in. She could still be sick and just feeling a chill. Like she probably has a fever or something. I'm going to say she has an elf. Or her whole family has an elf. She probably has an elf. See, the cheer hasn't gone down. It's not processing that, you know. Oh, maybe after the next one, it might be right or wrong, or they're gonna call you back angrily. You again. This packet you sent doesn't make any sense, and there is still something in our basement. I'm calling Papa Paul's best control from now on. Well, what were you, what's in your basement then? I don't understand. If it wasn't bats, what else was it? Was it mice? Was it two mice in one thing? It threw me off. Not my fault. Oh, God, I'm dead! I'm dead and I'm only 33! Please say I can change this. Please say I can change it! Please hold. What am I supposed to do with that information? Are you Dorchud? Are you... I know there was another one that had something about... Feeling of intense... Dread or something. Will the time wisp... Our desire to better themselves. Immense existential dread. I'm dead. I'm going to 33. I'm dead. I mean, it's got to be. I doubt the door shot. I feel like you probably would have said, Oh, something's following me, I'm gonna die. If it was a door shot. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna say time sprite, time wisp. I ain't thinking no more. I'm just sending it in. Oh no. Oh, that's gonna be wrong, isn't it? That's gonna be wrong. hearing things. It feels like it takes longer between calls. There's some kind of dying animal in our yard. Can you send someone out to put it out of its misery? It's been screaming like hell for the past hour, and I'm far too squeamish to go look at it or touch it myself. My 
son is only ten years old, and he's very worried about the poor thing, so please hurry. Please hold. There's some kind of dying animal in our yard. Can you send someone out to put it out of its misery? It's been screaming like hell for the past hour, and I'm far too squeamish to go look at it or touch it myself. That sounds very similar. No, of course, you sing song like screeching and tendency to approach entries of homes after dark. I mean, that sounds like it. Man, I don't know. Oh man. We got a false carol? Definitely was not that. <laughs> Not even close. Probably not a Hans. I don't know the lessy sounds. And the mayor sounds so similar. There's some kind of dying animal in our yard. Can you send someone out to put it out of its misery? It's been screaming like hell for the past hour, and I'm far too squeamish to go look at it or touch it myself. My son is only ten years old, and he's very worried about the poor thing, so please hurry. Yeah, not those. Definitely not a mule goat. I was an angry cat. No. Um, we... I feel like they would have mentioned, mm, but the less he goes inside, the mayor stays outside. They said it's outside. But if it's a lussy, it could sneak inside after I send the report and then they're fucked. But it could be the mayor, and then she'd be like, ignore it, it's outside. There's some kind of dying animal in our yard. Can you send someone out to put it out of its misery? It's been screaming like hell for the past hour, and I'm far too squeamish to go look at it or touch it myself. Mm -hmm. My son is only ten years old. Mm -hmm. 
Oh god. This is gonna be wrong. That's gonna be wrong. Hurry up, give me the next caller. I want to know if I'm wrong or not. Okay, it wasn't her. But she might call back after this one. Feathers. Oh. Please hold. You got a caroler. Flock of feathers, human eyes. Singing missing neighbors. Missing neighbors. Large feathers appearing on doorsteps. Getting first fulls of feathers on neighbors' porches. Uh, false curse pose a very direct threat to humans and animals as they are known to carry away anything that comes close enough to them away to their nesting grounds to feed their young. And she's missing. This woman is being affected, which is why the neighbor went missing. I mean, that seems cut and dry, you know, can't be wrong if I believe it's right. Can't be wrong, I believe it's right. I believe it's right, it ain't wrong. No, this says nothing about slime. Um, the lusty leaving his slime, slimy transparent substance near doors, windows, air ducts, and chimneys. It's not just black mold. Black mold isn't slimy. No. Mm, they say nothing about slime. Cat's not slime. Wood secretion's not slime. None of that. Augresses do not leave slime, they just destroy. So is, is that the face back there? That's the face back there, and this hand is reaching in. That's a big ass. Big ass hand. Big woman. Big lady. Whoa. Frank marking. Behaving abnormally and negative impact. There's nothing about slime. I feel like she has a lussy. 
Lucy. Las. Lasai. It's not dwarf. Dwarves don't need any slime. Yeah, I'm going with that Lussy. And of course, I'm going to be correct because I'm always correct. I'm never wrong. I'm always correct. <laughs> of course. Please hold. Well, it sounds like she has an avalanche. Oh my god, I think there's an avalanche outside! Our home is right below the mountain! Please send someone over before it's too late! <laughs> yeah? Honestly, if it's not an avalanche, I'll take that L. Like, that's what? Huh? That seemed so... cut and dry for... that one. The doctors told me to call oh, you. Oh no. I think I caught some kind of dog disease? My neighbor's freak dog sneezed on me or something, and now it's growing on me. I can feel it underneath my skin, this horrid little bump forming. It's hurting very badly. Please, can you tell me what to do? Ugh. Please hold. You got a red nose with growing? This is seen sin from some red berry like growth emerging from the moon alien proboscis. I don't know what else would cause a horrid little bump. It's not fur. I mean, it's got to be the red nose. Yeah, what else could it be? No, it's not the Fae Flu. My neighbor's freak dog. Maybe he's calling it a freak because it had the red nose. I'm going with the red nose. I mean, it's a painful growth, so why wouldn't it be the red nose? Maybe the dog sneezing was actually it releasing the spores once it blossomed? Who knows? Squeaking came in to Please steal my hold. Santa outfit. Doesn't say anything about them stealing clothes. Would winter fur make you steal a Santa outfit? No. Uh, I mean, the troll? Missing clothes? I 
mean, that doesn't sound like squeaky feet. You can hear their shoes squeaking. Shoes. Squeaky shoes. Shoes that are squeaky and squeaking in their shoes. Suffer, how does that directly harm? Blah blah blah. Mm, nothing about clothes. Uh, keep on blah blah blah. No false base, turn to consume dust. I mean, I don't think anything else steals clothes except for the trolls. I don't know. What? What? There's something about breaking the cameras? I don't think anything will like break cameras or anything except for boggarts with their electric outage. for their bodies. I know nothing about broken cameras. What would steal their outfit? I don't get it. What would steal his clothes? I mean, squeaking actually could be... I'm going to say it's a troll. I don't know. I Nothing else takes clothes. Unless I'm blind. I didn't look at half the thing, so... It could be true. But, you know. I'm never wrong, so... Look at that. Never wrong. That just, you know, that just... You know... I told you that first round was a bug. You know, that's just a... You know... The cheer goes down random every other day. Heads up. I don't know if you've heard already, but the pest control department has been panicking and sending out vans all morning. I think something big might be going down. I know you have a lot on your plate already, so I figure I'd give you a heads up. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Phenomena sighted across North Dakota at approximately 0200 hours. The estimated proximity is around 50,000 miles within active feeding range. Risk profile moderate to high. Cheer levels should be closely monitored. Well, my cheer levels are pretty high. They're at least half. Over half, so. Christmas Eve. Lock in and clock in chat. Oh, 
Hudson here, HSH Pest Control. Listen up. The Mouse King is loose, and it's our understanding he means to stir up trouble of the Yuletide variety. My boys are working around the clock to find him and stop him in his tracks before things get too hairy, but sometimes things slip through the cracks. Little things, if you get my meaning. If you hear anything strange, let us know as soon as you can. There's new data coming your way. Read it carefully. Keep those eyes peeled. Hudson out. The Mouse King. Okay. Oh, you're creepy. Human-shaped pine-based life form. Huh. Homeowner's experience. Report break-ins, berries, sap, pine needles, or scratch marks on the floor. Or dead pets. You know. Dead pets, you know. The, the small, you know, not important part of that information. We need someone to come check our house for damage. I think I felt an earthquake last night. And this morning, I noticed those godless Hendersons across the street crying about something with the police. So I'm fairly sure whatever happened must have been enough to damage our property. Huh? Please hold. Why? Maybe it's something new. Gift tag. Hmm. Humanoid creature somewhat resembling an elderly human woman with a smiling face covered in suit or soil. Often known to quietly slip into homes during the winter and leave behind trinkets such as makeshift dolls, wooden idols, or sharp twigs and rocks. Gifts are mostly harmless to humans, though careless play with sharp rocks can often result in children injuring, yeah, of course. The hunt. Storm-like fungal weather phenomenon that carries with it large quantities of infectious snow-like spores. Oh. The hunt's powerful winds can often cause trees to break or fall, which can lead to dangerous blah 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 blah. Huh. The locomotive. Not the Polar Express! Segmented train-like organism that can only be seen by animals and human children. Oh, it is a whole Polar Express. Only to appear after nightfall. After the 21st of December. Report the floor crumbling at night, distant whistling, snow falling, and strain patterns, or missing children. The Hendersons are crying, maybe their child's gone. Harmless to human adults, but can prove particularly harmful or even fatal to human children. I felt an earthquake last night. For the floor rumbling at night. I think there's a locomotive. The locomotive's harm with an adults can prove particularly harmful or even fatal to human children. Features enter. Children bearing sufficient faith are known to return the following morning. And he's calling them godless. So they have no faith. And that's why their child is still gone. I think I'm onto something. There is no known solution for removing the locomotive from an occupied area while it has us stopped. However, the locomotive only remains in one location for a few minutes at a time to attract its prey before it will move on to another territory to on its own. I'm gonna say they got hit with the locomotive. And that's why the child this the godless child is gone and hasn't come back. The Mouse King. Always oh, a cute little guy. Prominent member of a traitorous clan of bikes. <laughs> what does that mean? I have been robbed. Someone broke into my house and completely cleaned out the fridge and cabinets last night. There's wine all over my floors, discarded milk jugs. It's absolutely disgusting. I demand a refund for this useless home security package you people sold me. It's only good for hearing thieves cackle after the fact. Please hold. 
Maybe you hit with Yulman? Stolen food, giggling. Hearing him cackle after the fact. Said that was broken in. Stolen food. What's a white? Probably not the thing. Misshapen former humans that have exposed to the effects of the hunt. Coming in a variety of unfortunate bodily configurations. Whites are known for their wild and unpredictable violent behavior. Gurgling, coughing, or hacking. Right, blah, 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 whatever. The sinner. Large bipedal goat like creature known for breaking into homes and devouring human children. Usually arriving after a no snowstorm has passed, homeowners often report the sound of chains or hooves, broken doors or windows, and missing children. Oh, so it's like Krampus. Hmm. Interesting. The saint. Santa. Cool. A warlock that sometimes. So, a warlock sometimes resembling a bearded elderly human male, adorned in thick robes, often seen riding a pale horse-like creature. Santa and the uh, war horseman had a baby, I guess? Traveling through snowstorms at night, leaving strange artifacts on the doorsteps of home omers. O omener, omeners, owners. The saint's arrival is often followed by the sinner. Yep, Santa and Krampus. Perched. What the fuck? Large humanoid creature together resembling an elderly woman with a beak like nose and long sheet like skin. Entering a home full of refuse, chaos, and filth. Okay, so. I don't think it was this. It seems like her home was supposed to was probably clean before they broke in. Uh, right, the Mouse King is a prominent member of a trader's clan of mice known for recruiting and leading them in nefarious activities such as riots, heists, and assassinations. <laughs> Homeowners with the Mouse King often report sounds of squeaking, scratch, scratching, and seeing strange mice behaviors such as mass coordination or attempts at communication. An incredible threat to all living things, and its destruction should be immediately prioritized. Oh damn, what they do to the Mouse King. He's innocent, let my man go. I'm gonna say she got hit with... Oh no, what was it? Uh... Yulman. Yeah, I'm gonna... Gonna go with Yulman. Yeah! I got that right! Not the cornflakes. Is he got the, he got hit with the goat? Is he getting goaded? Coach had someone appear in home during winter. Strange coincidence setting shapes of the goats. Throughout the house and imagine sound. He doesn't say anything about the goat sound, but 
He's paranoid. Sleep deprivation. I'm not even going to look at anything else. He's got to go. I'm going to say he's got to go. This dude. This dude's a goat. Don't worry, chat. I hate myself, too. I don't know what to do with that. Please hold. Does she get hit with another? Did she get hit with an avalanche? <laughs> I don't, I don't know what this could be. Maybe they got an ogress coming in? And the ogress is messing up their house? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I'm going to say she's got an ogress entering her house or something. I don't... I don't think it'd be another av avalanche. It wasn't an ogress. Well... That's fine. She sounded like she was dead anyway, so... Incognito. Be on what? the lookout for any conspicuous individuals of a rodent adjacent variety. Hudson out. What? They're. They're. they're, 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 they're huh? <laughs> it's gone and he's gone. He's disguised himself? Hey, sit quiet, boy. Sit down. Hey. 
please hold. Oh, that's the Belschnickel. Belschnickels do not pose any mortal harm to humans, but they are knowing they are known to occasionally lash out as those they perceive as wrongdoers. Their presence can be highly hazardous to any furry mammals or pets in the house. The berries they leave behind are both safe to eat and delicious. Cool. A bunch, of, a bunch of sap and needles and stuff littered. Yeah, I'm going with Bell Schnickel. I'm just so confused. Was that girl? Was that one girl hit with an avalanche again? Like, I know it's winter and avalanches are probably common. But two. Then again, that other one on day one was probably two mice. At least this would be. You're dead, lady. I don't. I still don't know what that is. Did you get trapped under an avalanche? Like I don't get it. You're dead. Goodbye. Sorry. Please. You have to help me. I think my husband has joined some kind of cult. He's not acting like himself lately. And I found what looked like satanic symbols in the attic. Along with what looked like a... a scarecrow in the center. Please hold. The Persh Per 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 Perkta said something about a scarecrow. Uh, Perks are incredibly dangerous to homeowners, as it will often utilize nearby humans to have makeshift scarecrows to keep other. Wait, what? Unless it took another human to make a scarecrow. Huh? Huh? What's a white gurgling? No, definitely nothing. Really small house for hardships, blah blah blah. Nothing. I mean, as of right now, the per perch does the only one that I remember that mentions a scarecrow. Two children. Nothing about a scarecrow. Blah blah. blah. Nothing about a scarecrow. No scarecrow. I suppose the one about them acting strangely. I remember there's one that said they started acting strangely about with it. I don't remember which one. That's nothing. Hans? Cost of cloth, rags, and straw. 
Maybe he'll look like a scarecrow. Like about how comments have such as the appearance of strange markings, satanic symbols. Rustling occupants behaving nor abnormally. Yeah. Negatively impact the lives. Occupy human adults. Make them in acts they do not condone. I think they're getting Hans. Did did did. And that the husband is being Hansified. Hans and Hans and Hans of Hans. Yeah. I mean, he looks like a scarecrow. Probably a scarecrow. Well, maybe I'm a scarecrow. Our house is falling apart. The floorboards are cracking. The doors aren't closing properly. And nothing is draining anymore. Something very strange is happening. And I suspect it has something to do with my neighbor's renovation project. I've been seeing people hauling around giant rocks all week. Who knows if they damaged something on my property? Please hold. Is she getting close? Falling around giant rocks, large circular stone formations. Floorboards cracking, doors aren't closing. It could be messing with the foundations. I mean, the giant rocks seem like such, such a big hint, but it could also be lying. Maybe she's just being hit with a sinking foundation. You know, a sinking foundation might. Yeah, cracks in walls, ceilings, uneven floors. I mean, it doesn't say anything about cracks in the floors. It just says cracks in walls and ceilings. Uneven floors. Uneven floors might crack them, though. Depending on what they're made out of. And uneven no floors will definitely cause doors to not close properly. As much as I want it... Mm, the giant rocks, though. Giant rocks. Giant rocks. No, no, no. As much as I want it to be a cloche. No, no, no. You ain't, you ain't getting me with those giant rocks with the renovation. That's a lot of yapping you just did, Georgia. Okay, so they broke in. Stole technically food. Burned something. And left a big hole. What would do that? And I took the bar then.
the big hole has burned remains in it. What would break into a home, leave, and burn stuff? The Mouse King? <coughs> I don't know. Probably not the Mouse King. But the Mouse King's in disguise. So it could be the Mouse King. I have absolutely no idea. Doo -doo. So does she know that the home was broken into or is she just saying it was broken into because the thing is missing and they found it outside? Why would a spider be able to burn something? What am I looking at? Would the mayor leave something in a hole outside? No, the mayor would probably eat it. would burn. Ain't none of these would burn anything. Oh, nothing uses big holes in the ground either. Bro, what the sigma? Nothing leaves big holes and nothing burns anything. Or I guess the dwarf will. Well, that's basement and cellars or... I mean, what would a dwarf... A dwarf wouldn't eat a gingerbread man. Part that's me messing me up is the whole burning. What would burn? None of these burn anything. I mean, except for the boggarts, but.
I don't think that clerical error's mess was fixed. Nothing burns anything, nothing burns anything. Why would it be on fire? Why would it be on fire if nothing burns anything? What burns, what burns, what burns? I want to say Mouse King, but what if it's wrong and they get mad and they're like, we're not entering any more Mouse King things from you, and then the Mouse King gets away. But what if this is the Mouse King? The Mouse King heisted the gingerbread. What if the Mouse King was like, mm, that gingerbread house looks delectable. Let me take it. And then they heisted it and then left it in a hole outside. If they get mad at me, they get mad at me. It's better to, you know, hey, this might be a Mouse King. Check it out. And if it's not... I wasn't the Mouse King. He's <laughs> walking around in a trench coat holding up a piece of paper. What? 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 Okay, the first two days were like, yeah, I, I understand, this all makes sense. What the fuck are they talking about now?
trench coat, mask, holding a paper. Like, huh? What? Huh? What? Is this the rat, the mouse king in disguise? I mean, the cat's getting angry at it. Cats hate mice. Oh. Wrong house. Also, I just got no clue what the hell that could be. The cheer didn't go down. I got it right. The Mouse King disguised in a trench coat and a Halloween mask. <sighs> oh. What did I- what, I don't remember what I even- Was she the one that I said the Mouse King was? I need you to send out someone to change I, out our locks. I don't know. My mother-in-law has finally gone far enough and I've had it with her. I don't know how, but I think she's managed to get a copy of my key to come in and leave these creepy little dolls for my kids at night. I saw hang. that old bag myself on the security camera. It's- it's a bit fuzzy, but I can make out those crony old arms of hers. Yeah, yeah, you got a gift tag. Please hold. You're not very resembling an elderly human woman. Makeshift dolls. Yeah, 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 you got a gift tag. I just don't know what was getting that old lady. What got that old lady? Like, she's screaming, they're alive, they're alive. They're taking post-woman Patty. What could that have been? Animation? Something with animated in her house or something? She get hit by Yule men or something? I don't get it. It don't make no sense. All right, it's Christmas Day. Phenomena sighted across all northern territories at approximately 0600. Estimated proximity is around 10,000 miles. Currently feeding. Great. Increased levels of cheer spreading is highly advised. I wish I could raise my cheer. Hey, what are you doing here on Christmas, dog? <laughs> Fortunately, we both know why. I'm sorry this always falls on your plate, Becca. Especially with the extra madness going on at pest control this year. Today is going to be a rough one, but I caught the Mouse King, so pest control's doing all right now, right? Christmas Day. Christmas time. I got nothing new to unlock, right? Yeah. It's the test time. Is this going to be the last day? I doubt they're going to make me work tomorrow. Before the Christmas party. Hudson here. We almost had him, but that little royal pain has given us the slip. Dang, it was away. last seen hightailing it towards the head office with his swarm in tow. Uh-oh. I repeat, you have a whole gaggle of mice coming your way. My boys are coming in to break the walls down. We're going to seize the king no matter what. Tell your buddies up at IT they're going to have plenty of work ahead of them tomorrow. That's how it has to be. Hudson out. Huh? I don't have new entries. There ain't nothing new. What you talking about? Oh, 
I was, just, uh -oh. I was hoping I wouldn't be calling. Oh, hi, Carol. Greetings, Rebecca. I'm certain that you've seen the skies today. The light's gaze has fallen upon us. Yep. I'm calling to wish you and the rest of the caller response team the best of fortunes. I know I need not remind thee that this day is one of great import mm -hmm. and is to be treated with the utmost gravity. Spread much merriment and cheer to all you can, and I hope to see you all on the morrow. I mean, I can't really spread cheer. I'm just losing cheer. I guess, I mean, I'll try. Am I going to need a caller? I can't do my job if I'm not getting a caller. That's fine. I don't know. Oh, she was the... Was she the one that called about the... The neighbors with the big rocks? Or was that a different person? What am I supposed to do with that information? But did they take anything? Like that's what you're not you're not saying anything about them taking anything. Like, huh? I mean I can only assume it's the Yule men with the stolen milk and the weird Give me more information. How am I supposed to help you? Would I be able to... Am I still even supposed to be on the lookout for the Mouse King? They're coming to headquarters, so I don't... I don't know, lady. You got Yule men or something. I don't know what you want from me. God damn it. Give me more information, you goober. Is it normal for a northern lass to show up in broad daylight for us folks in Texas? No. Nope. This guy's been looking real strange all day. Could a power plant be leaking nearby or something? Looks like this guy went all radioactive, if you know what I mean. Please hold. I mean, you're getting hit with the twilight, huh? Right, I should... I should say the twilight nothing does weird sky stuff other than the cloche right I mean it's the twilight he said he sees the northern lights. I don't know what you want from me anymore. Thank God. Oof. This is stressful. I can't handle this.
That sounds like a weird call. They tried taking my baby! I, I, I boarded everything up. But I think I made them mad. I hear something coming. Something oh, you're coming from August. the mountain. Yeah, you're getting Listen August. To this. Yeah, that's the ogress coming for you. Oh, I'm getting the network error stuff. Yeah, that's the ogress. She blocked out the Yulemen, so... The ogress couldn't get her food. I remember. I got big brain. I remember the Yule men. You're supposed to like board up any opening so they can't get in. What is this thing in our house? I saw it hide behind our couch. It's hideous. Come and get this little thing out of our house this instant. I don't, I still don't. That doesn't tell me anything about what's in her house. I don't know what that was. Does she have a puka? I don't know. There's a nudist in our neighborhood. Hey, yo, let me I see. contacted the authorities about this pervert crisis, but they told me to call you instead. Last night, I saw my neighbor darting through the neighborhood completely in the nude. The pervert looked like he was terrified of being caught, as he's right to be. I need you to send someone over to arrest this nuisance right now. What? Who? What is it? What an impact. Uh, I'm certain Calvin hacking. And was inside. Uh. What? Nothing says anything about nudes. I don't think it's reanimation. I mean, if only thing I can assume it's like a super fast white. But the whites would be disfigured and she wouldn't say like it's a white. A nude person. Terrified of being caught. I just, I just said to her, I got her. If it was a Bogrit and she saw them, it would immediately attack her. Maybe it's a antlered human? Lady, what am I supposed to do with this information? <laughs> I 
Maybe someone's gone crazy and she's just seeing the crazy neighbor. Neighbor got afflicted by something. Oh, false artifact. False artifacts steal children. Not a kobold. Kobold stays in the homes. Not a mare. Mare wouldn't be running. I don't know, I can only assume it's the you the white. Unless a naked man's running from a Yule cat. Missing clothes. The cat attacked their clothes and ate them. Yeah, it is advised to deliver these fabrics completely unclothed. I'm gonna assume they got a Yule Cat, and the naked guy was trying to give it clothes to eat. So it didn't eat them. Let's put my big brain to work, chat. Uh-oh. He's getting hit with the hunt. And my mom got caught in a storm on her walk, and now she's in pain. I didn't know who else to call. What do I do? Please hold. Okay. This is... I got hit with the network error. I'm going to assume I'm going to go with the hunt. Because she got hit in the storm, and she's in pain because she's getting hunted. She's getting the fungal infection. She's gonna turn into a white buddy. You gotta get out of there. I got it right. Thank God. Thank God. That was an easy one. Oof. Sheesh. See, that call happened instantly, but this one's taking like 10 seconds or something. Like, why is it taking so long? We need help! I think we're caught in an avalanche! I don't know what to do! Everything is shaking! Please hold. Everything is shaking. That doesn't sound like an avalanche. Everything's shaking, everything is shaking, everything is shaking. Huh. Not the whole word. They got the locomotive coming through. Everything is shaking! 
Uh, it doesn't seem like the locomotive. Definitely not that. Huh, I don't know. Did they anger a mountain warlock or something? I think they got, they angered a mountain warlock. Yeah, mountain warlock. Hell yeah, brother. Oof. That was a spicy one. You getting twilighted? Please hold. I'm not even gonna look. I'm just gonna say it's the twilight. I'm just built different, chat. You know. That was right because I said it was right, not because it was right, but because it was right. He get Please visited hold. by the saints. You gotta put that gift back, buddy. Hmm. Did he get? Did he get visited by the saint? Weird looking orb, probably a strange artifact. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the saint. Nothing else leaves stuff on the doorstep. I mean, the mayor doesn't leave anything, it just stays on the doorstep. I'm gonna go with the saint. You might wanna find that orb, buddy, you're gonna be killed by the sinner. I'm so smart. I'm so smart, guys, you know. Some kind of insane drunk man is in our neighborhood limping around and trying to bite people. Please send help over. The children can't go outside anymore with this lunatic lurching around and chasing the neighbors while wearing this stupid little reindeer headpiece. Ooh, yeah, that's, ooh, that's an antler growth right there. That is not a person, that is a dead body. That's a zombie. That's a zombie. That's what that is. You know, for a second there, it sounded like she, there was a white going around, but then she added in the antlers, so that really sold it. Silence. 
save for the sound of some wandering souls coughing their lungs out. Did the commies drop a deuce on us? Please confirm. Over and out. Oh, you got some whites. Please hold. And you got some whites coughing their lungs out. They got hit with the hunt. And they got funged. They got funged up. They got fungi wungled. Perked, he got turned into a uh, scarecrow. I'm just going for it. I, I, my brain tells me yes, because I'm smart. He got turned into a scarecrow. I don't think he survived that either. Most adult humans don't. I think that's what it says. I wouldn't survive being turned into a scarecrow. I'm gonna say he's got time wisps. Cause the lights are beautiful. Ah, nuts. And what the hell was that then? And what the hell? What is he talking about? The lights are beautiful, but they feel so empty. What does that mean? My Greta! She's gone! The police won't do anything, please! You have to help me find Greta! Last night, someone broke into the house and took my baby! By the time I got to her, it was too late! I saw them jump out the window! I, I think they might have been an escaped prisoner or something! They were carrying chains! Oh, uh, you got hit with the sinner. You didn't leave. You didn't Please leave hold. the gift there. You should have left the gift. Should have left the gift on the doorstep. Damn, how many calls are in this day? I know it's Christmas, but damn. Dwarves? The dwarves like to hear or they just make it hot because they're in the home. But it's it's turning on the heater. It's not snow golems, because snow golems would turn the heater off. What would turn a heater on? A 
bogger it maybe turning it on Yule men turning it on No Will Warlock Remnant be messing with them? Manipulate small household objects. They could be turning the heater back on. Cobalt's like it hot. No. Nothing like turns stuff back on. And nothing really makes or likes the heat other than probably dwarves. But dwarves just make it hot. Okay, nothing in the background. Oh, I can only assume it's going to be a warlock remnant turning it back on. Or a dwarf. Unless they got that carbon mold outside. Nope. I mean, it said teeter. But they're not reporting, like, busyness or anything. in the basement a dwarf in the basement might be like turning up the heat I'm gonna say it's the warlock remnant Messing with them, turning it up and on. Because I just don't know what else it would be. Not a warlock. Well, my cheer's below 50. Am I, are we going to die to the. Is the twilight going to kill us? Maybe if you would have said there are fucking rocks down there alive, I would have been like, oh, you got dwarves. But no, you're just saying 
You fucking idiot. You stupid idiot. Stupid idiot. Just kill me, Twilight. To feed off of me, suck me off. Now, is that the Twilight or those Time Wisps? She's definitely feeling... I mean, it's not existential dread. It's I'm gonna die dread. I'm going with Twilight. I don't... I don't know. I... I'm already... I'm the, my screen is undulating. Oh, that was correct. Cool. Hudson here. First off, you're welcome. Me and the boys had to make quite a mess to do it, but we finally done it. Yeah, that's right. We got you, Your Majesty. The rest of them scattered to the winds as soon as we captured their not so mighty leader. Nice. Spread the good news around the office and maybe call the IT department, some carpenters, and a plumber as soon as you can. Pretty sure that pipe is gonna burst one way or another anyway. Happy Yuletide season's greetings. Hudson out. Bye, Hudson. Thanks. Is he not going to kill the king? Is he just going to keep him? Are there seriously more callers? Oh, thank God. Hi, Carol. The miracle once again, Rebecca. Thanks to you, the Lights Watch has passed over us once again. You are truly a lifesaver. As a friendly reminder, the office Christmas party begins on the morrow, so we had best see you there. May the Yule shine upon me and be ever merry, Rebecca. Okay, I notice how it, it says uh, minimal casualties, but you just completely didn't read that. So I'm going to assume I did a good job. Yippee! Nice. Awesome. I hope these aren't copyrighted. I assume they're not. Hi, it's Hudson. I don't know who those are. I don't know who all these people are. I only care about Hudson and Carol. They're the only ones I know. What is that? What is that? What is happening? What is that? Oh, I'm buying it. What is that? Is that a hob or something? I don't get it. Is that me and Rodney or whatever his name was? I don't know. Cool. That was nice fun. I hope they do more DLC. Or if anything, a second game. That's fun. This game's fun. I like all the different cryptids. Creatures. So yeah, well that's the end of that.
whoever's watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah. Bye bye. I'll see you next time. I still, I got, I still, I have so much to stream. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I hope it, most likely, if anyone's watching past, the next is probably gonna be the casting of Frank Stone. But don't hold me to that, because it might not. Goodbye.